Hi, I'm Mike Henriksen from Strada Hadoop World 2013 in New York City. I'm here with Vibhav Navargi from ClearStory. Vibhav, how are you, are you doing? Yes. Yes? Morning. Good. So yesterday you guys announced something called Data Intelligence. Yes. Um, sounds really interesting. Can you unpack that a little bit and let people know what it really means? Sure. So we've seen that over the last few years, there has been, we've been getting really good at building data platforms on one end of the spectrum and applications on the other end. But the combination of the two is becoming more and more elusive. Something that lets lots of business users work with all kinds of data, internal as well as external, without requiring the technical skill sets or the programming abilities or SQL or NoSQL. So at ClearStory, we have experienced this problem first time. So my background has been in building big data infrastructure for most of my career. So with data intelligence, we took a st step back at this problem and said that for business users to work with data, you need a platform that's data intelligent. It needs to understand the semantics and size and shape of that data, plus it has to be usable. It has to be extremely intuitive. It should not require users to have a specific skill set to code and learn and SQL or any of that. So that's the approach we are taking, converged uh, platform and application that's tightly coupled, that has meaningful semantics of data built into it, that can let business users in any functions, marketing, sales, what have you, access data that's both inside the organization as well as outside, and come up with converged insights really rapidly. So you're actually building a tool then for people who may not be data scientists. So our tool actually caters to the entire spectrum. You can be any persona. It can be IT, data scientists, data stewards, business users. So they can work together inside the ClearStory environment to bring in disparate data, to converge it on the fly without requiring any pre-modeling, and then visualize it in a very intuitive user application and share those insights and collaborate so that all of these activities are no longer ad hoc, but they are more systematic in nature. And they can be repeated as more data comes in, as new data comes in, and everyone in the organization can benefit from that analysis. Interesting, so without giving away your secret sauce, what does your own technology stack look like? How did you build yeah, this? Because it's, like, it's really interesting. It is, so we, we are a fully vertically integrated solution. So at the, at the lowest tier, we have to understand the data that comes in. So we have built an inference and profiling engine that can talk to data coming from any source and extract the signal from that data. Now these are things that help us understand if the data is talking about sales on the west coast in the US or it's talking about uh, population demographics in Europe. And when it comes to business users, you want them to compare apples to apples. And uh, most of the platforms today leave that up to the user to figure out. They're really powerful, but they let you end up doing all the modeling and all the query building and optimization and things like that. When it comes to an application, you are constrained. You don't have the flexibility of an API. So the, when, when the two are tightly coupled, when you have that signal that you build on, and you have the application that users can slide and browse and use familiar intuitive interfaces, that's where you can achieve a lot. And uh, all of our processing happens in memory. So we try and get as much data in memory, crunch through it really fast, so that you have really low latency. And as you're exploring more data, you can fail fast. Because not all of these insights, not all of these converse analysis are always going to be meaningful. So that's where we have a recommendation engine, we score data sets on the fly, uh, users don't need to model anything on the fly, and uh, they can keep deriving insights. And they can also mash up multiple data sources, like oh, yeah. their own data with right. stuff that they've acquired from the web or whatever. Exactly, so it can be more than one internal data. It can come as Excel files, CSV files at the low end of the spectrum, all the way to relational data sources or Hadoop or NoSQL stores. Uh, external data sources are becoming more and more ubiquitous. And uh, most organizations have to look at these for being competitive uh, because it influences their top line and their bottom line. So they can uh, converge one or more internal data sets uh, with one or more external data sets and really amplify the value of their internal data. Yes, excellent. So where do you see this going in the future? Are there certain industries that are uh, using this more or adopting this approach I, more? We have been in uh, conversations with early customers for, uh, for some time now. And we are seeing broad application across different verticals. Uh, so we have, we're working with Fortune 1000 customers in, in retail, in media and entertainment, in uh, CPG, in food and beverage. Now, all of these vendors, and if you, it's very easy conceptually to come up with these problems. Like you, are, you have sales data, you have transaction data, you have clickstream data. You want to look at how weather is influencing that. You want to look at how demographic shifts are influencing that. Uh, you might want to see if some key influencer is saying something good about you on social media. So all of these are really natural evolving questions. But for business users, the point of conceptually thinking of the question to getting access to that data is a really long cycle. 
and we want to really narrow that gap so that uh, all of the data can be accessible to them. They can ask these questions themselves and become self-reliant. So put yourself back on a user, mm -hmm. a, a user of your product. Right. And if there were problems in the world that you could solve using data, mm -hmm. so you're using your tool, ClearStory, and you're going to solve a problem. Right. What problem would you tackle? So we want to have business users not be constrained. There should, there should be no walls, no silos. Yeah. They should not be looking at one dashboard for one data, a spreadsheet for one other data, and talking to IT for a third kind of data. So even uh, technically advanced companies, this life cycle is really, really long. So we want to make that completely go away. Like have access to the finest granularity data, internal as well as external, so everyone can be really efficient at their day-to-day -day jobs. Because almost everyone is a data worker today and they are constrained by the tools that they have. So it's it's a broad problem, it's a big challenge that we are out to solve, uh, but that's the technology that we're trying to build. So, but now from your own personal perspective, right. if you're a user, what would you like to solve in the world with data? If you could solve something, like one big problem for humanity, what would that be? One big problem for humanity, now that's a good question. So, now there are, there are problems where uh, maybe fast response to emergencies, whether uh, delivery of food to areas where it's needed. So there's, there's yeah. a lot of this open data that governments are making available, and there's social media data. So there are use cases where internal data uh, and external data can be converged, and you can come up with, target the right areas where help is needed, for example. That might be something where rapid response is important, and ClearStory can definitely help with that. Excellent. We look forward to seeing you and ClearStory at future Strata Hadoop Worlds definitely. in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks.